Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to be real with myself, okay, with my reading challenge that I'm trying to do. The reason why I'm trying to get myself back into reading is because I want to get myself back into reading. I used to love reading and having kids and being an adult, I just lost the drive to make the time to read and I just want to get myself back into reading and and okay so I had put some books into this challenge to kind of start myself out with and you know I had the best of intentions but like I, I feel like perhaps I shouldn't have included a book that I don't really like. Okay so we're gonna go ahead and, and talk the shit about this Britney Spears book that I need to because Okay, so I am, I was born in 92, so like I'm a 90s kid and like I grew up with Britney Spears being an icon and I was right Backstreet Boys in sync, Britney Spears, that was me, Christina Aguilera, I loved all those, I loved them, okay, so I never understood what had happened with Britney like until I was an adult and things had started to surface and I had started to hear more about it and like Instagram became a thing and just like it took me a while to figure out what had gone on and why she had disappeared but initially I was like oh my gosh Britney Spears is gone I used to love her why did she disappear why did she stop singing blah 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 and then I f <laughs> learned the whole thing behind that well I follow her Instagram and that can be a little bit painful to endure sometimes. I'm not talking shit, but she's definitely not the most like articulate person in the world. So when she carries on, she really just like kind of carries on and it's kind of ghetto in my opinion. So upon reading her book, I made it, th I'm like, I think I'm on like the ninth chapter. I made it through eight chapters in a course of two days and I didn't have that much time to read as it was and I just have to say like you can tell that she hired someone to proofread it and maybe like spice it up here and there but it still sounds like her and it still sounds a lot like her Instagram and like if I want to just read her Instagram I can just read her Instagram I didn't necessarily need to pay 20 bucks for a book I don't hear anybody talking about finishing it or their opinions on the book and like I don't have anything necessarily against Britney Spears as like an individual. I don't know that I would consider her an author nor would I necessarily recommend her book from like a reader's standpoint. I guess if you're like a Britney Spears stan and you really love her, go for it but like I have regrets. <laughs> I have regrets. I definitely should not have bought this book and I'm not counting it as a fail but it is not inspiring me to want to read more and like I don't want to read it so I find myself putting it off and like I pushed myself to have this be the first book that I read and here I am not wanting to read anything and it's March and it's because I don't want to read this book. That's what I figured out. It's because I don't want this to be the book that I have to read. So I need to be nicer to myself and understand that no, I shouldn't have bought the book because it was by Britney Spears and <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting reading a book by Britney Spears, but I think I got about what I expect, what I could have expected from it. That being said, and rambled on, like I said, I don't hate Britney Spears, but she's not an author and she's not somebody I would say, go ahead, write another book too. <laughs> so the book I'm going to replace that one with is a book that I'm actually interested in reading. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I have only just started this. I'm, I'm, I'm only on chapter three in here, so I've only just began. I wanted to read this though and I actually picked up both of these in this little series you know it ends with us and it begins with us I I really wanted to pick it up and I really wanted to read it and since then I've made it obviously three chapters but that's one I'm more interested in reading so I'm gonna be nicer to myself and we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> file this book downstairs somewhere that I don't have to see it again because I'm not really interested in reading it. I'm going to take my bookmark out of it 
It's this cool Starry Night one. <laughs> I'm disappointed. And like I said, I really, I really want to stay on track and I want to make myself read 12 books in 2024. So that way I have the motivation and the inspiration to push myself for me to feel like it's even worth it if I want to buy, because I do want to buy that Kindle, the cool Kindle, the one with the notepad, the, this one, this is the one that I really want. It's very expensive, but again, if I can really push myself 12 books in 2024, then I can maybe, maybe convince myself that it'd be worth it, but as it sits, <laughs> we're not doing very good. But I'm blaming the Britney Spears book. Britney Spears is not an author I should be reading. I should be reading an actual author, so... <laughs> We're putting this one in and hopefully I have more progress and I have a better update to give you on my 12 books in 2024 thing that I'm doing. But this is what I have for my update on my 12 books in 2024. I'm taking Britney Spears out. I'm done with it. Okay, I'm done with it. <laughs> Don't waste your money, guys. But thanks for watching. I hope everybody has a great day. Until next time.